So this is one of the heath asters, one of the late blooming asters, thus often called frost aster. Uh, this particular one, which is probably some Trichum uh, pelosum, they've changed a lot of the asters into multiple genus, so no longer just aster. It's this one, like I said, is, uh, is, uh, is pelosum, Symphiotrichum pelosum. Uh, common name, hairy white old field aster is another one. And again, frost aster, because here we are again, it's, here we are in uh, mid-October, uh, and it's, uh, it's holding on to its blooms, blooms late. Even though it's considered weedy, and the flowers are small, as you can see, uh, very small, but it's covered in flowers. This is actually in a little section right by my backyard, and you can see I let it flourish because it is incredibly late, good, good pollen source and nectar source for late, um, late uh, arriving pollinators. Again, not called frost aster for nothing. It'll bloom all the way into the frost. The plants can bloom for about two months, so quite an important pollinator plant and nectar species. So again, uh, some people may consider it weedy. It's not always the first one that people are going to consider to include in their garden because it's such small flower type of stuff. But when it is covered in bloom and covered in butterflies and other pollinators, kind of hard to uh, not uh, love this little plant despite its weediness in nature. It could take, uh, usually likes uh, sun, but it can take a little bit of shade too. Widespread, spreads quite a bit, forms nice clumps, uh, rarely gets more than, you know, two and a half feet tall or so. But when it does, it does cover a whole area with just real, real rich bunches of blooms. This actually looked even better last week. I really wish I'd gotten a picture. Here we are at the end of the season, and it's still providing tons of nectar and pollen and pollinator use. So again, uh, this is one of the frost asters and the beautiful addition uh, to two, uh, to naturalized setting or to, and something to keep an eye out in the, in the fall because this is where you're going to find a lot of pollinators. Here I am, it's early in the morning, it's really, really cold, I'm here at the jacket, but um, so we don't see anything right now. But later on when I come back, this probably will be, when sun warms up, just covered in pollinators. Frost Aster.